As we get closer and closer to this upcoming holiday season with tons of major releases on the way, uh, really sort of kicks off with Spider-Man on PS4 next week, there are going to be plenty of titles that I want to follow in terms of how they review, what fans think of them, how well they sell, etc. But I think none am I more interested in knowing the fate of than Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee, for, for a multitude of reasons. Going back to uh, months ago, we got that Pokemon event over in Japan, a bunch of industry insiders got flown out to it, they made a whole to-do of the ordeal. Uh, we saw some smaller stuff, but the big reveal was for these Pokemon Let's Go games. Funny, going into this event, the big debate was over the potential return of Gen 1, uh, which ended up being true, but uh, I, I certainly don't think that was the biggest controversy coming out of the reveal. Many were shocked to see that the next major Pokemon title for the Nintendo Switch would essentially be a companion game to Pokemon Go on mobile devices. Many of the gameplay elements from Go would be coming over, including... Uh, the, the catching mechanic. I'm not even a big Pokemon fan, and that really pisses me off. That's like my favorite part of these games, and they turned it into some BS minigame. It's certainly not what many were expecting from the series' first major outing on the Switch, let's put it that way. And man, in the weeks that followed, fans were extremely divided, to say the least. Some were pretty pissed. Now myself, I've said I don't take much issue with this game, because we know the next true core Pokemon game is coming next year, uh, so it's not even, it's not that far off, and I think they even expected some of this backlash, which is why they, they made sure to stress that during the original event, like, don't worry guys, the, the game you actually want is coming. To me, this was just a way to get something that kind of felt like a bid game and was Pokemon related out for the Switch this year, and knowing the real thing is coming, to me, doesn't make it as big of a deal. I do think they are misguided for sure. Uh, the idea that they're going to pull in players who just play Pokemon Go, uh, I don't really see that at all. People who play Pokemon Go and are actual Pokemon fans and uh, perhaps already intend to buy or own a Switch, oh, sure, of course, there's going to be plenty of them. But what they really want to do is pick up people who uh, aren't big Pokemon fans, aren't probably even really big gamers. They want to get those people who just play Pokemon Go to buy this. And I, I think that's a big misunderstanding of the mobile games market. You know, who plays these games and why they play them. Uh, people aren't going to buy a Switch just for Pokemon Let's Go. Still not a big deal to me, but also like I said, I'm not the biggest Pokemon fan. And there are a lot of them out there, uh, many who are almost uh, boycotting this release. They don't want to support it. Uh, they want the game to fail, and I see the logic here. If this game is a huge success, that will send the message to make more, or, or that the mechanics of this game is what people want. Most fans want to send the opposite message. This isn't what they want, and as I've said many times in the past, if you want to send any message in this business, uh, you best do it with your wallet. When that happens, these companies can't ignore it. And that message does appear to be being sent a little bit already. The pre-order numbers, for instance, have been dropping uh, as we get closer to release. Not something I would totally freak out about, but not a good sign if you compare it to something else like how Smash Brothers is doing in terms of pre-orders. And I'd say, honestly, more importantly, the interest as well. Uh, at least from what I've seen, like, at least when the original announcement happened, there was buzz. Yes, many people didn't like it, but everyone was talking about it. As time went on, uh, when it comes to the Switch, I think the Smash hype has pretty much consumed everything. Uh, if there was a Pokemon Let's Go Nintendo Direct tomorrow, I think the main thing people would be talking about in anticipation is uh, what Pokemon character might get announced for Smash at the end. I legit think that would be the biggest thing on most players' minds, and that's not good. I think this release certainly could have been handled better in that regard. Uh, I think they treated this game... A, a, a bit more like a core entry when it should have been a bit more like Pokemon Go. Uh, the release date, for instance, November is about where we typically see Pokemon games drop, but given all the other releases and how dead much of this year was for the Switch, I think this title would have been much better suited as a summer release, just like Pokemon Go. I think that would have helped tremendously, actually. If that initial reveal happened and they were like, oh, and this game comes out in a month or two months, I think people would have been more receptive and wouldn't have had all this time to stew in anger or even just sort of forget about it. Plus, like I said, there wasn't much coming out at the time. 
even from a marketing standpoint. Yeah, you don't have to go outside to play this like Pokemon Go, uh, but they're still pushing that on-the-go aspect in, in the Let's Go ads. I don't think it's going to make much sense to have this marketing message and uh, put the game out in a time where, in many places, it's going to be cold outside and uh, perhaps it'll even be snow on the ground. As I've also stated, I think a cool Pokemon Switch bundle could have helped a lot. Um, we may still get one, but if it's just like a standard Switch with the game, that really defeats the point. I think if you had a cool custom Pokemon themed, you know, decked out Switch with Pokemon decals on the system, the Joy-Cons, maybe even like a, a custom Pro Controller bundled in there, that could get a lot of Pokemon fans to pick it up just for the unique Switch itself. Like, you know, I think there's a lot of people out there who are Pokemon fans, uh, may not really be feeling this game, but do plan to buy a Switch for Smash Brothers. And if you're someone in that category and they did offer you some awesome looking, uh, you know, custom Switch bundled with Pokemon Go, I think you'd be more likely to bite on that. Now, do I think this game is going to flop? No, not really. Uh, unless it is really bad. I think there are a lot of people who are still on the fence. They're waiting to see when those reviews come out, when people get their hands on it what they actually think of it, because who knows, uh, there is going to be some of the like standard core type battling stuff going on in it. Maybe that stuff is pretty in-depth and it, it ends up being a lot of fun. I mean, it's possible. But even regardless, I think in terms of sales, riding on the Pokemon name is going to be enough for it to do uh, like well, at least. Do I think it's going to put up core game numbers? Like the games in the series everyone loves and were released on systems with much bigger install bases than the Switch currently is at? No. You also have to take into account this game uh, is probably not that big of a risk either for them financially. It looks pretty clear they didn't blow tons of money on making it. This doesn't look like something that was, you know, everything was built from the ground up for the Switch. But yeah, I think it'll do well enough. But still, as many fans are hoping, I also doubt it'll do like well enough to justify uh, a sequel, at least it, not immediately or something like that. I think in terms of spinoffs, which I definitely consider this game a spinoff, there are much better places to take the Pokemon franchise. There are much better places it has already gone. You know, where's Pokemon Snap 2? I bet people would get way more hyped uh, for a Pokemon Snap 2 than they are for Let's Go. I know I would. That was one of my favorites as a kid. But anyway, with that, this video is a wrap because I want to know from you guys. You know, let me know what you think the fate of the Pokemon Go games will be come release date in the comments. Will they fail in dramatic fashion? Will they be massive sellers, you know, in line with the Pokemon name? Or will they maybe just do okay? Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this discussion of the Pokemon Let's Go games. Soon we're going to be able to go with without leaving the house. If you enjoyed the video and are new to this channel, please consider subscribing. And if you want to keep the conversation going, hit me up on Twitter, at Johnny Zakari, and join my Discord, Shy Guy and Friends. Link to both in the description below. And as always, thanks for watching.